late spring, and Course 44 are flying their fastest aircraft, the 1,500 mile an hour Lightning. This morning, it is the turn of Jim Ludford on the right, his tutor, Tim Allen. The main thing is don't relax at the end of the trip because we've finished doing the exercise. Remember, this is a fairly short runway and the landing is absolutely critical. And we must be down with 5,000 feet to go and do a precautionary landing from the word go. So if the chute comes off, we'll be able to stop in the runway length available. Yeah. Okay, see the other side. Tim warns Jim because the main runway at Boscombe is being relayed and the alternative is slightly shorter than the minimum recommended for the Lightning. The Lightning, for all its complexity, lacks modern electronic flight control systems which are essential to fly today's fighters. Students flying the Lightning can therefore experience at first hand the effects of high-speed flight. The two Rolls-Royce Avon engines developed more power than a whole squadron of wartime bombers. Jim Ludford, Harrier pilot, is introduced to an alternative form of vertical takeoff. This exercise allows students to experience the effects of transonic flight, going through the sound barrier, if you like, without having a computer between them and the aircraft. Level at 40,000 feet. The Lightning, still one of the fastest fighters in RAF service, is delightful to fly and very popular with the students. It's, uh, it's nice to fly an airplane with so much thrust. Reheat produces enough extra thrust to accelerate the Lightning to 1,400 miles an hour, Mach 1.8, but at the cost of very restricted range. That is by far the best airplane here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't fly it as much as we'd like to. We certainly, we, I've had a couple of trips, I think most of us have now, and that was tremendous uh, excitement, actually. Dated as the Lightning may be, the RAF still has two operational squadrons of them. It's like a Mirage with two engines. Because there is only one, flights on the Lightning are rationed. Well, it's a bit like the forbidden fruit. You get shown a brief glimpse of it, and then it's taken <laughs> away from you. Uh, I've flown 35 minutes in it. It was great fun, but uh, I'd like a little bit more. good fun. The, uh, the type of thing that you uh, look forward to. But not the landing. The lightning is known to the RAF as the frightening. The landing is the most critical moment. Jim Ludford makes a perfect touchdown and taxis in after the fastest flight he has ever made. It's a delightful machine. It's, uh, it's a pilot's aeroplane. Just uh, like a good car ought to be. It's not that big and it's got a great big motor in it, or two great big motors. Although the Lightning is a difficult aircraft to maintain, being non standard, they hope to keep this one airworthy for some years yet. Hey, Jim. Good. Yes, it was working well, wasn't it? But I think you saw the rate of climb. Supersonic was down a bit on what it was, subsonic. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, we got to 37,000 feet at 1.35 instead of 0.9. It's still going. So And going well in the climb. So it looks like it works well. Landing was nice, wasn't it? I should say so. Right, right. Jim now has to write a report on his high-speed flight. <laughs> 